Okay, so this one's going to be Charles versus William versus Harry versus William versus Charles. So if you like the video, I hope you do like it. And um, if you haven't subscribed, why don't you go ahead and subscribe? And uh, I'll see you later. <laughs> Ciao. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. You know, each one of them has their own point of view. Charles has the all of his history that's uh, guiding him and how what he thinks uh, Harry's doing here. And then uh, William has all of his history looking at his dad and the way his dad's reacting and leading them and also how his dad's reacting to Harry. And then William has his own, uh, uh, you know, vision of what Harry should be doing. And then Harry, you know, it's his point of view towards the other two. So this is complicated. Let's see what the cards say. You know, I just want to remember for a minute, just put for a frame of reference, uh, how things were. I mean, Charles was a proud, happy uh, papa, and uh, and uh, and uh, Harry uh, at different times uh, was uh, rambunctious, and uh, then as a teenager, he was another person looking up at his dad from those uh, that point of view, and point of view and uh, William also, and then all of them together. So, you know, they all have a frame of reference with each other that we don't think about, perhaps. And so let's look at that and see if we can see the anger, if we can see the happiness, and uh, and uh, I'm gonna let you see the beards. You'll be amazed. So this is the Aquarian Tarot by David Palladini. This is published by U.S. Game Systems. And I really love these cards, and they've got an interesting story behind them, too. And there's a follow-up deck um, that I sometimes use uh, together with these. But uh, So they come in a, a typical, uh, just a little cardboard card box. It's fine. Um, the artist is David Palladini, who was born in Italy but raised in the United States in Highland Park, Illinois. So that's a little bit interesting once you get to know the cards. And uh, the instruction book that comes with them is just a run-of-the-mill, um, this card means this and that card means that kind of thing. Really nothing all very meaningful in here, and it's kind of printed really small. So there's all of that. The interesting thing about these cards is uh, what happened, David Palladini was just finishing up um, art school when, I forget who it was, someone approached him about doing uh, tarot cards. Um, and now David Palladini just recently died, this is 2000 and 21 in May, and he may have died three years ago or in that in that time span, so uh, 17, 2017 or something. And then, so then these were done at the beginning of his career, which would have been put him in his uh, 20s or late 20s, I would imagine. So you can see that these are very nice cards, very soft spirit, and very to the point. Uh, they're not hard to uh, interpret. <clears throat> and I lay these out like this so that you can get an idea of what a full deck looks like if you're not a person who buys a lot of cards or or sees a lot of tarot cards i do because i just like to collect them i think they're, they're little pieces of art <clears throat> but uh, this fellow uh, did these right out of art school and then he could never have imagined they would come such an integral become such an integral part of tarot and then later in his life he went ahead and um and did an updated uh, deck but these are the aquarian tarot by david palladini and uh, they're really great i love them so I think it's a simple, it's a simple formula, really. It all starts with Charles and the decisions he made bringing those boys up and how that changed all of a sudden once uh, Diana was gone. So given that, I wonder if Charles's opinion of Harry is, is disappointment or compassion, you know? Let's look at three cards for that. Charles, looking at Harry, is he disappointed with him? Or is there some sort of a, is there some compassion there? Let's do that again. Doesn't look too good. I think that's got to be a complicated formula. Charles, 
You look at Harry, disappointment or compassion? Three cards. One, two, and three. Charles, is that disappointment or is that compassion in your eyes? The signifier of that is the three pentacles. And if this isn't Charles and the two boys, I don't know what it is. And um, I think he maybe had something there where he thought the three of them would, would build something together. He finally had a chance. Okay. The next card of that is a Hierophant. But of course, the monarchy uh, looms large over any kind of plans like that. And the final card, the world. Beginnings and endings, cycles. And it is that exactly for Charles. You know, there's the beginning of his life with Diana. There's raising those boys. There's everything falling apart. There's taking over uh, and raising those boys after Diana's gone. And now there's this new cycle here uh, with Harry. Um, so I think it's just a lot. But what does it mean? Does it mean that you're disappointed or compassionate? We don't really need more explanations as to why you feel the way you do, we want answers. The Page of Pentacles is, I think, uh, Charles's opinion of, of himself, if you go really deep, isn't as big as it could be. You know, the page is the weakest of the royal uh, cards, and uh, this page is bringing an offer of some value. And so maybe his value is feeling a little tested right there. The next card for that. And yeah, and of course, you know, he's pinned in as to what he can do and show uh, publicly. And that maybe that means that there's there's something we don't know. And this shows that he is a king of compassion. So my question is, is he disappointed or is he compassionate? And in the end, this shows me that he is a king. He's a dad king uh, with some compassion. Probably we just don't see it. Okay. So that's Charles. I want to ask now about Harry um, and, and how he's feeling about his dad. I want to know if this standoff was always inevitable. Is there always going to be a point where a young man has to prove to his father who he is? I mean, William doesn't have to do a thing because what's going to happen is he's going to take over. He will be his father. There's nothing to prove there. Um, his, um, if there was any rebellion in him, that has to feel a little stifled. But with the Harry, so now we want to know Harry versus Charles, you know, um, is he getting a clearer picture of what Charles's life was? And is his opinion of all of that one of disappointment or one of compassion? Harry versus Charles. Opinion. Compassion or disappointment? Just three cards. Harry, his opinion of Charles. Dis disappointment or compassion? Let's take a look. Sick for that? Ah, oh, don't tell me. So this is, you know, that, that this is an end. I think Harry has taken charge and said, no, this is a new point. This is a new beginning. This is where it stops. Wow. The next card for that is the Six of Pentacles is doling out the wealth, deciding who gets what, who gets where. That's exactly what Charles did with uh, Harry. He said, look, you know, uh, uh, certainly he has given him a lot of money and a lot of support. But at this point, with the monarchy in the back of his mind, he has to say, no, this has to be redetermined. Okay, so Harry's opinion of Charles. So perhaps this is telling us that Harry understands some of this, but, but that means that, that this has to be an end and something new is going to start. And then the Three of Pentacles, look at that. The same card that, that we had for Charles with Harry is uh, that, yeah, they are a family and they can put something back together. And so this is compassion. It certainly is. Okay, that's good. So far we got two compassions. Now let's say, if we have to take Harry's, you know, he grew up side by side with his brother William. Those two, at some point, know each other better than anyone else, okay? Uh, I mean, at the point where they start going off to, to different schools, different parts of the military, William starts his life, Harry has his bachelor life, you know, there's differences uh, there and, and some important part of the union. But Harry's opinion of William is he's saying that love or contempt. Harry and William. Harry and William. Love or contempt. Three cards. That last card really didn't want to come out, did it? It'd be interesting. So three cards. Harry of William is this love or contempt. 
we have the Five of Pentacles. And I mean, this couldn't be clearer for Harry that he he and Meghan are on the outside looking in. <clears throat> as they always will be, as they always were going to be. But I think understanding that is something different than living it. The it, This is Harry again. He is the knight. He is the fighter. He is the, the of cups in that royal family. He is the knight. He's the one who's going to defend. But right now, all of his compassion really has to go to his family. So he does have this cup of compassion for the unit of, of, of the family that they were, meaning Charles and William and himself. Harry versus William, love or contempt. And look at that. This is another endings and beginnings. So we started these these uh, cards out with the death regarding uh, uh, Charles and Harry. And now we come back to this beginnings also. Endings, but beginnings, and in a more positive way. I like this. So this is, is I'll pull one more card. Harry towards William, love or contempt. Strength, the one. Strength. Perfect, perfect card. Excellent way to end the reading. So it could have been a better card. Strength is what all three men have to have and show and display and then settle with the strength. And they all have it. Great reading. I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now.